happy St. Patrick's Day and happy Spring Goodwill Challenge Day. I am so excited to see what you guys found for the Goodwill Challenge. So let me go ahead and show you what I found for decorating my home for the springtime. And also I'm gonna give you a little tour of my spring and Easter decor. how our living room looks now with touches of spring. I added in some greens and aquas and got rid of more of my like neutrals and browns and just made it feel more springy and fun. So you guys know in this basket down here is where we keep Evie's seasonal books. I have some Easter books in there. On this counter I have just a live plant that's really beautiful and these are so easy to keep alive so it's a really good uh, house plant. Then I have some aqua and green spined books that I just had on hand. This little bunny was also a thrift store find. I think he was actually part of my Goodwill challenge last year. And then my globe that I love that's all like aqua and white. It's beautiful again from a thrift store. Over here on this little armchair we have one of my black and white pillows that I'm still loving and I wanted to make work for the spring so I just put it here with this throw that is green and white and this is from West Elm and I just think that it you know, helps to tie the black and white in and make it work for the springtime. Over on our couch, you guys may have seen that I got some new pillows for my birthday from my mom. So these were from Home Goods, and they have like the aqua and the green and the gray, which again I think helps to tie in the black and white pillows. So that is the living room, a little bit refreshed for the springtime. In the dining room, I haven't changed a ton, although we did get a new tablecloth. This one was from Home Goods. And then in the center, I have some beautiful tulips again for my husband. He knows that I love tulips, so he got them for me for my birthday. And then in the center here in this little scallop bowl, I have some eggs. You guys may have seen those I got at Home Goods as well. I love that store, and I love that these are wooden and they will last for many, many years. Over at our coffee station in the corner of the dining room, I just have a few touches of spring. These little cute polka dot, um, like purple straws were from the Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye's Playground. And this little bunny was thrifted last year with some fake eggs from Hobby Lobby inside. In our entryway cabinet, I just have a few touches of spring. This basket was also thrifted. Basically everything was from a thrift store or a garage sale, except for the eggs, which again were from Hobby Lobby. So here is our spring mantle this year, our Easter mantle. I made this little bunting or little banner out of some cardstock eggs that I got from the Target dollar spot. So the pack of eggs was only a dollar and then I just used rope that I had. So instead of buying the three dollar banners that Target sells, I just made one myself for a dollar. And almost everything you see on the mantle came from a thrift store or a garage sale, except for this print, which was from Hobby Lobby, I think last season, but my really cute little bunny and this little egg holder, the basket, all of it was either thrifted or from a garage sale. And as for my little ceramic bunny, he found a home here in the kitchen. So he just looks really cute here. I cleaned him up really well so everything is nice and clean. And I don't have anything inside, but I just think he looks so cute here perched next to my sink so I can look at him every day when I'm doing dishes. So again, if you are participating in the challenge, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. I will have a playlist in my more info section so you guys can go and check out everyone's videos that's participating in this challenge. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye!